Welcome to Being at Home with George. I'm excited to be here during vacation season, as we might say. And we want to begin by saying yes to life, being willing to embrace, to accept whatever comes up, say yes to it, and then obviously generating the hope so that we have the energy and the wherewithal to embrace things that are unpleasant to embrace. And so I was thinking about this idea. I was talking to a friend this morning and we were talking about vacation. And sometimes, you know, you wait all year to go on vacation and you need a vacation after the vacation, <laughs> just the transition. So if you go on a vacation for a week, you need a week before, at least three days before vacation. And then definitely a week when you get back home from vacation because you get right back into the rat race, right back into the stuff. And so I was thinking about it and some people can't afford to go on vacation. But if you do go on vacation, we usually go on vacation once a year. If we're lucky, maybe multiple times, maybe you're able to go to a ski resort in the winter or whatever. But this idea of going on vacation, and that's when we're going to renew and, if you will, shop in the saw or get refreshed. We can't wait a year for that because stress and things happen throughout the year. And so what I'm suggesting is that if we want to develop a certain way of being, we want to be able to develop this ability to be proactive about building in these things into daily life and not waiting for me to go to Maine or go to Cape Cod for a week. In the old days, I used to go to Maine for two or three weeks. I'm not able to do that now. So it's really more about incorporating that in my daily life. And so Maria Popova from the Marginalian, she talks about pockets of stillness. I think about pockets of silence, stillness, and spaciousness. And so when I talk about the silence, and this is one of the things that I do, and as a matter of fact, I was doing it today because I'm feeling like there's a lot going on and I'm not on vacation. When I drive my car, I drove my car with no music, no videos. I usually listen to Audible or podcasts, none of that, but just being in the silence. And then during the day, in the morning when I wake up, just having some time when I'm being silent. And so finding these pockets of silence where maybe we just turn things off. And of course, there's meditation and prayer. We can sit and be with ourselves for however long we're doing it, where we actually are sitting and being still and just listening or praying or doing affirmations. But we have to have these pockets of stillness and silence and also spaciousness. And what I mean by spaciousness is not really being confined and, and trying to squeeze things in, but actually being open and for me, you know, taking walks, I know my friend Greg loves to go walking every day. That's one of the ways some people go on runs or just being in nature, including parks and beaches and wherever we may like to go. So we have to do this. This is something that we really need to incorporate. And Stephen Covey talked about shopping the saw or the renewal. And I noticed from my experience, you know, when cutting up boxes with a cutter, and if I don't get a new blade, then I'm, I'm using more elbow grease. It, it takes more effort. So physically, mentally, and spiritually, we need to be renewing. We need to recover. We spend energy. We need to recover. So I'm just offering this possibility of being able to use daily life because we can't wait till we go on vacation. And the thing about developing stress hardiness is I like to see stress as demands made on us that are beyond what we think our resources are. So one of the challenges and one of the proactive things to do is keep getting high levels of wellness and well-being so that when the check is cashed, it doesn't bounce. And so that's the thing. So these things of, of sharpening the saw, renewal, refreshing, we need to do that. That has to be a way of being. And if you're lucky to go on vacation, if you go on vacation four times a year, there's still another 48 weeks if you will, where you, you have to deal with the stress of life and all of the demands that are being made on us. And we have to, you know, just like our cars, you know, we have to put gas in them. We have to change the oil. We have to think about our well-being, our body, mind, heart, and souls. And so I'm just encouraging us to be proactive about finding these pockets of stillness, silence, and spaciousness. And of course, the stillness is obvious. You just be still and just or if you're walking, just be walking or whatever we're doing. Just do that one thing and be focused on what we're doing. And just to have that time to be in with ourselves because we have to get with ourselves. We have to go inside. 
And so that's my offering for this week. And remember, finding these pockets of stillness, silence, and spaciousness. And, and we're creative with that. But if we have to put that idea in mind, that opportunity is there for us 24-7.